Ariel Hawani in Dallas, Texas, alongside Jorge Masvidal, who meets Damian Maya this Saturday, live on pay-per-view at UFC 211. I think it's Jorge Masvidal, or it might be a young Al Pacino. Look at this guy. That dude's Italian. I'm Cuban, bro. I know, but Scarface. Scarface, yeah. Right? Tony Montana. Tony Montana. I mean, look at this. We got this. I mean, what is Is that real diamond? This is no Aljamain Sterling necklace. This is, this is about as real as it gets, man. <laughs> And, and we got the Louis Vuittons. Always, baby. Is Always this Westchester baby. style right here? This is Westchester, Miami, the whole city of Miami. You know, when uh, when we get dressed up in Miami and we're going out, it's meditated, premeditated murder. Well, it's interesting because you're wearing all black. And you know in the NBA, now it's the playoffs, when a team says that they're going to eliminate the other team, they wear all black like they're going to a funeral. Is that what is happening here? It's done. Duh. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. You're smarter yeah. than that. All right. You didn't even have to ask that. Sometimes I just like to make sure. I know. You, you, didn't, you know that. You see him over there, Maya? Can you I see him? him? I saw him. What do you think when you see him? At the current state he's in, he looks fragile. Why? He's cutting a lot of weight. I saw him earlier on, and he was, you know, I can see he's cutting a lot of weight. It's hurting. I used to do the same thing at 55, and um, he's looking sucked out already, you know? Not that he won't be able to make weight, sure. but I can tell he's hurting. So this is kind of a, a moral victory for you right now? No, because I used to be probably the most sucked out dude at 55, and I'd get in there and fuck shit up, you know? So yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to sleep on him or none. I just know right now, currently, he's hurting. I'm not. Tyron Woodley said recently that it was dumb for him to take this fight. Do you agree with him? Damn right. It's dumb for anybody to take the fight, you know? That's, why do you think I'm the most dodged opponent? In the, call, you, don't, you don't have to believe me. Call Sean Shelby. Call Joe Silva. They'll tell you. Well, Joe Silva retired. Most, whatever. <laughs> Who's the most? Mick Maynard. Yeah. Well, Mick Maynard hasn't dealt with me too much. Sure. But they'll tell you. Who is the most Dodge fighter? Who's the guy that you've called the most and they've said no to or just hung up on? Huh? And I'm not just talking about the, the, the fights that got signed and then later on got broken up. I'm talking about backstage, which I won't even mention those hoes' names. But I'm the dude that gets denied the most. Decline. 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 Every time. Why do you think that is? Because I can fight, man, and I'm mean, and I'm good everywhere. You're not, there's, you don't look at me fighting and go, oh, man, but if I do this, then I'll have an upper hand. No, because I'm good everywhere. So it's going to be a fight no matter what. It's going to be a testament of my will versus somebody else's will every time. And I got more will than everybody. I believe you are the betting favorite going into this fight. Did you see that? I saw are you that surprised? I, uh, yes and no. You know, Vegas, Vegas is, uh, is smart, you know. A lot of times they throw me off guard. I opened up as the underdog. And then I guess my boys from Miami City bet the house on me, changed them odds, you know. So, would you have bet on yourself if you were still the underdog? That's when when the line opened up. Yeah. I was hoping I would get a bigger underdog, and then I'm the favorite. And I don't bet on favorites really, so sure. it doesn't make sense. Doesn't yeah, to me it doesn't really make too much sense, you know. Have you been told that if you win this fight, you're getting a title shot? All I know is if 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 I could, God willing, get through Maya, if I don't have a title shot, this sport took a drastic turn for the worse. It's all pop stars, WWE, and reality TV show, and that's not what I signed up for, man, and that's not what I'm going to do. You're not going to catch me doing whole shit to get there. You know, I'm just going to fight and continue to be myself, and if that doesn't get me to the title shot by beating the number one clear-cut contender, well, then shit, I don't know what to do, man, you know? Some might even argue we are already at that point. We are at that point, and I would love to get into detail of it, but I'm going to have to plead the fifth because then I'm going to... Oh, come on. You're not that type. I know, but I know that if I get too much into it, you know, the management might not be happy with me, corporate, you know, but sure. I, all I'm saying is I'm, I'm here to fight, man, and Damien is by far the number one contender. They wanted to make Cowboy also fight after my fight for the title. Well, I, I, I took care of that guy twice in one night. Yeah. If I could get by Maya and I'm not fighting for the title, there's... I, I, I'm speechless, you know. The, the sport's gone in another direction, and, and not what I signed up for. When I, when I got into fighting was before Ultimate Fight. I already had pro fights. It was guys that were fighting, no time limit, just wanting to be the best in the world. And it didn't matter about fame. And it's awesome that we get money and stuff, but those guys didn't care about fame and money, and that's why I got into it. Obviously, I want to get paid as much as I can, but I don't care about the fame and stuff like that. But the sport has gone in that direction. That's not me, man. I'm, I'm here to just fight. And if I get famous off my fighting, awesome. If not, whatever, you know? If you don't get a title shot after a victory, would you leave the sport? It's, I, I don't want to, that, that's not me either because I, I love this sport, you yeah. know? I want to compete and I want to fight the world's best. If I don't get a title shot, it's, it's I guess I'd have to like get a sex tape with like a famous celebrity and then all of a sudden I got title shots at every weight class. And right. that's kind of like, oh shit, you know? I'm, I'm here to fight, man, right. you know? 
Speaking of management, uh, Malki Kawa, who manages you along with his brother Abraham, said that if you fight Tyron, who is also represented by them, first round management, that he'll go with Tyron and then Abraham goes with you. How do you feel about this little sibling rivalry that would be created if you end up getting the victory over Maya? The easy money campaign <laughs> is part Masvidal, part Abraham Kawa. Okay. You know, so Malki knows, man, he's going to have to tell his boy, you know, set him straight, tell him maybe fake the injury, man, because we know Game Bird is a problem, man. What's the status of that bet with Dana White? Did he take you up on it? He played the fifth. Wow. I've had new, different sources reach out to him. College buddies of him reach out to him. He didn't take the bet. You know, maybe it wasn't enough money. Maybe, I don't know, you know? I don't, I don't know. Maybe that didn't get his attention. So it's not happening? Not happening. What's your official prediction? How do you finish Maya? I don't think it makes it to the third round. I don't know how, but it doesn't make it to the third round. Would you already be a champion if you moved up to welterweight a long time ago? If Did I you regret not moving up earlier? I think I would have been a champion a long time ago if I had bleached my hair, got a puka shell necklace, maybe some contacts, bleached my skin a little whiter, then oh, things no. might have been different. What are you different. trying to say? I don't know. Or, or maybe if I just had like really good singing skills and I would have like, yeah, yeah. I was like a band member sure, at some sure. point. Not a good one, but just like whatever, like a CD one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would have been champion ready. Well, this is good because I thought that you were going to rip on the media and all that, but it seems like you actually start to like the media now. No, I, I still can't stand you motherfuckers. Why? But uh, why? Because it's how long I've been doing this, and now people are like, "Man, this guy's awesome." This and that. I didn't just wake up and get good. I've been, good been covering you for a long time. I remember you're in Dallas, you you fought in Strike Force here. Remember? Yeah, you're, but you're, but you're my partner. And that's why I always I never I never not do interviews with you because you're my boy. Though I don't like to do this, I'm I'm re look when I'm great at it. When I come into a room and there's a bunch of people, I don't like it, man. I'm antisocial. I grew up a little different where. You just don't talk to random sure. people and stuff because they might try to rob you or something. So I'm not really used to it still. I think you're good here with these folks. Yeah, I, I think I'm good, you know, but I'm still not used to people just coming up sure. to me in the street and talking yeah, yeah. to me. It kind of throws me off. So I, talking to the media, especially the fake media, feels like, man, I'm getting these guys money. I'm not getting no money off of it because for years they didn't do shit for my career. Sure. You know, who the hell was covering me? Nobody. When I would put on an amazing performance at Strike Force, like you just said, beating KJ yeah. News, didn't nobody give a fuck about that, you know? So why now they're all on me? Because I beat Cowboy? Who the fuck is Cowboy? You know what I'm saying? He's a good fighter, but who the fuck is he? I beat other guys like him are better. Now all of a sudden, everybody wants to be my best friend. Everybody wants to text me, oh, let me get an interview with you. Man, after this fight, if you want my boy from the gate, I'm gonna start charging for these interviews because they're doing them clickbaits and they're getting all that money. I need money, my, let me wet my beat. Give me $100 from now, you want an interview with me? Put some money in my hands after this fight because I'm not getting nobody else paid. I need to put my kids through college. You know what I'm saying? So I, I have a lot of discontent with the media you know even after the cowboy fight they didn't say how good a performance i did they said cowboy shouldn't have took that fight because it was too early cowboy should have not fought a guy like me that wasn't even ranked cowboy looked flat but they forgot that uh right before cowboy had that fight i fought two weeks before against jake ellenberger the guy that destroyed the guy yeah. that almost uh that, that him and him had a little war with you know what i'm saying people forget that shit and that shit bothers me man you know i'm here to fight and to fight the world's best that's it well, that is what you are doing on Saturday. Can't wait for the fight. A lot of people are very excited about this opportunity for I'm you. Very excited, man. Keep it up, my man. This is my boy right here from a long time ago. Though he blackmailed me, he didn't even tell me he blackmailed me. It's still my partner, man. What are you talking about? When did I blackmail you? Black, you remember you said on your show, you're like, man, I had you blackmailed. I mean, uh, not blackmailed, uh, blackballed. Remember? Oh, because, yeah, because you said you were going to show up and you didn't show up. Yeah, but you're a man you, of your word. You didn't talk to me. You talked to somebody else. Well, and I announced it to the something. world. No, that somebody else said something. I didn't even tell me. You got to remember. I got three kids and a full-time job. I feel you. I feel you. I don't know anything, man. You got to tell me. We're good like now, this. though. Kind of? We're always good, All bro. Right. <laughs> You're the one that turned on me. Never. I would never turn on you. Good luck. Thank you, man.